Hello to all my story lovers. Today's our story name is The Donkey and the Stick. This is a story taken from Grandma's Bag of Stories and written by Sudha Murthy. Now let's go to the story. Aruna Marg was a busy road. It connected a number of villages to each other and many people, animals and carts use it every day. Walking along that road, a group of students discovered a rock which no one had bothered to look at in many years. Look, they told each other in excitement. There is something written on the rock. What can it mean? They call out their teacher. When they examined the rock carefully, they found the markings were actually little drawings. One showed a stick and the other a donkey. By now, a large cow had gathered. Everyone was puzzled. What could this strange drawing mean, they asked. Scratching their heads, they decided to go to the ashram of wise sage nearby and ask him. But when they trooped into the ashram, they found to their disappointment that the sage had gone on a long pilgrimage. Only his young disciple was there, looking after the cows and the cows. They asked the disciple if he could throw some light on the strange drawings. Now this young man was not very bright, but like many foolish people, he loved to put on an air of learning and pretend to be very clever. He examined the drawings carefully and minutely. Then he proclaimed, It is very simple. This is the drawing of magic stick. The man with the stick is the hero of this place. He died protecting this village centuries back. Each person using this road must worship the rock and make an offering to it. The one who ignores it will become a donkey. The villagers were astonished to hear this strange explanation. But they were devout people and on that very day they set up a shrine around the rock. They installed the foolish disciple as head priest in charge of taking offerings from passing travelers. The disciple was pleased with his brain wave. Of course, he did not know what the silly drawings mean, but he no longer had to run after the cows and get kicked by angry cows in the ashram. He could sit by the rock the whole day, taking his pick-up offerings to the rock and mutter a few mumbo-jumbo prayers. His happiness lasted a few months till the wise old sage returned to the ashram. The old sage was annoyed to find his disciple missing and his beloved animals roaming around uncared for. Then he looked into the distance and saw a large crowd gathered by the road. He went to investigate and found his missing disciple there, looking happy and well fed, busy accepting offerings for a rock. He stood watching for a while, then he walked up to the rock and closely examined the pictures. Without saying a word, he picked up a stout iron rod and to the astonishment of the gathered crowd, started moving the rock. Many came forward to help him and when they had been able to move the rock, they found a pot of gold under it. The sage said to the people gather around him, this picture meant you had to move the rock with an iron rod and find the hidden money. If you didn't, you were all like donkeys. You should not follow the rituals and the words of others blindly. Think for yourselves and understand why you are doing what you do. If you had given this some thought, you would have recovered this treasure many months ago. Instead, you wasted your time and money making offerings to a rock and helping this greedy disciple of mine become fat and make fools of you. This treasure belongs to all of us. 
let's use it to keep this road in good repair so everyone can use it and go about their work in peace the villagers hung their heads in shame for they realized how foolish they had been as for the disciple he had to clean the cow sheds for many months to atone for his greed now this is the end of the story do you like it then comment it subscribe my channel Bye-bye.